All right, everyone, if the reaction below proceeds with a 96.8% yield, how many kilograms of CaSO4 are formed when 5.24 kilograms of SO2 reacts with an excess of CaCO3 and O2? So the problem says you have 5.24 kilograms of SO2 how much CaSO4 will you produce in kilograms? So we're dealing with kilograms instead of grams. We could ignore those because they're both units of mass, so the work should stay the same, but we're going to convert those to grams because that's normally what we're dealing with. So let's first take 5.24 kilograms of SO2 and let's turn that into just regular grams of SO2. So we're going to do a conversion where we're getting rid of kilograms and turning into grams. What's the relationship between grams and kilograms? Well, a thousand grams or 10 to the third grams is one kilogram. So our units will cancel out, kilograms will cancel out, and we're essentially doing 5.24 times 1,000. So that's going to give us 5,240 grams. So let's take that 5,240 grams. And we want to do some stoichiometry and figure out how much CaSO4 we're going to produce. So we're going to take our grams of SO2 multiply by three conversion factors or a three-step stoichiometry problem because we're going mass to mass and end up with grams of CaSO4. So first step we're going to take grams of SO2 and convert to moles of SO2. One mole of SO2 is how many grams? We need to calculate the molar mass. So molar mass of SO2 is going to be one sulfur plus two oxygens. So looking at the periodic table, the molar mass of sulfur is 32.07 grams per mole. And we're going to add two times the molar mass of oxygen, which is 16.00 grams per mole. So that altogether is 64.07 grams per mole. So that will be here, 64.07. Our grams of SO2 will cancel, and we're left with moles of SO2. But we're not done yet. We want to get rid of those moles of SO2 and turn it into moles of what we want, which is CaSO4. For this step, we need to look at the coefficients, our mole ratios. So moles of SO2, for every two of those, for every two moles of SO2, we will make two moles of CaSO4. So for every two we get two. So two over two is our middle step and then moles of SO2 turn into moles of CaSO4. Our last step will take moles of CaSO4 and we can turn that into grams of CaSO4. One mole of CaSO4 is how many grams? Well we need the molar mass of CaSO4. That will be a calcium plus sulfur plus four times oxygen. So calcium, looking at the periodic table, is 40.08 grams per mole. Plus Sulfur, which is 32.07, go down there, 32.07 grams per mole, 
plus 4 times oxygen, which we already looked at, is 16.00 grams per mole. And we are left with a molar mass of 136.15. 136.15 grams per mole. So that goes in our last step. 136.15 moles of CaSO4 cancel. We're left with grams of CaSO4, which is what we want. So let's do the math. 5,240 divided by 64.07 times 2 divided by 2 times 136.15 equals right about 11,135. So that's what we theoretically could get. But the question said the reaction proceeds with a 96.8% yield. So let's multiply our 11,135 grams times 96.8% as a decimal, so times 0.968. And that gives us about 10,779. Now that is grams, and the problem wanted kilograms. So we need to convert that back to kilograms. So let's go up here and take our 10,779 grams. We're going to convert it back, so we're essentially going to take that first conversion factor and flip it, because now we want to turn grams back into kilograms. One kilogram is 10 to the third, or 1,000 grams, and that will give us, we're going to round to right about 10.8 kilograms, and that is for CaSO4. So, final answer, if the reaction below proceeds with a 96.8% yield, how much CaSO4 would be formed with 5.24 kilograms of SO2? That would be right around 10.8 kilograms. All right, everyone, if you want to see another example, click in the top right. Please like this video if it helped you in any way. Feel free to look in the doobly-doo below for additional help and resources. Please subscribe and ring the bell to get notified for new videos, and thank you, thank you so much for watching.